So this morning, I came and looked in here, found nothing, ran over there. This is where Faith's babies were um, under the heat lamp. The dogs were barking last night. So my head, you know how when something gets in your head, you start overthinking things. So I went to the eagle down there, checked the barn, checked under the playground set, came running all the way up here, had such a scare. And then I come around this way and there these babies are. We do have bears, and um, someone said that they had seen a mountain lion, but I did see the bear on um, their deer cam. There are coyotes. We The fence is electrified, but these guys, I mean, they are they are asleep at night, but I just it just gave me a scare, but they're okay. They're definitely okay, our two little does, and the other two are just playing over here. You can tell that they're fighting over the food. I was in the process of bringing Faith up here with her own little bucket, but I set it down a little early because I was a little frightened that they weren't with her. And now the boys are, I think, just challenging her over it. And she's pretty stubborn. She's not moving her head out of the bucket. Well, they just got her out. I'll probably take it away from them because they have their own feed. There you go, Faith. I had to give the mamas uh, their own feed for a little while, for a couple days because they're feeding. Uh, uh, Sam, Sam, go get their own. Go get the other one. Go get the other one. Come on, come on, Sam. There's plenty in there. But as you can tell, Dottie's babies are doing well. They're out playing and about. There, um, see one's on the playground, the doe, trying to figure out their names still, trying to, I like to see personalities before I give a name. I was going to let my grandkids name them, but they've been, they've not been here. Hey there, baby. Isn't she a beauty? Look at that. And when they're black like this, they have a hard time in the summer, if they, especially if they don't have their horns. So, I am really against just budding goats. We've had plenty throughout the years, and there's really no need to. There was, I only had one that was aggressive, and that's because he was our first buck. And we played... We, scratched his horns a lot and put her hands around his head a lot and you just don't do that with goats because it trains them it allows them to think it's okay to talk with their heads because that, that's how they communicate a lot and he did get aggressive with us he used to charge me charge the neighbors but um ended up selling them because i didn't want his temperament in the in the herd Well, there you go. Uh, I've got to get to finish feeding everyone. I got up a little bit later than normal. I was sleep deprived, but um, I'm glad the ducks are following me down. I feed them, as you know, um, like I said previously, feed the goats first um, because they love the chickens' food. I feed the, well, the bird food. I feed the birds next because they'll eat up the cat food. The cats are last. Hey, guys. There's enough for everyone. No fighting. You can tell the ducks came out here. And I really want the chickens to come out here too. Because they do such a wonderful job cleaning up after livestock. And they are. You see them all coming down through the, this way. And you see I have a lot to pick up. These piles right here. They're all over the place. Um, when we first got the land. You couldn't even step or walk anywhere. Without tripping up. And I spent the entire last year. Picking up wood, I had hired a company that was supposed to mulch everything. They quit on me in the middle of the job. So, and the guy said, uh, whether you pay us or not, you know, we're done. So, I said, well, if you're not completing the job, how am I going to pay you? Please complete the job. And I even uh, gave them options. I said, just finish up today. 
just finish up this pile today and um where it will be square but they they were just determined they said i'm sorry we're not doing it and they actually had i'll have to show you the ditches back there they're at least 10 feet tall and they were throwing wood back there making it very difficult for me to clean anything and then they told me afterwards that um if i got the wood out of the ditches that they would mulch them for me and we do have a good bit of mulch. I mean, they did do some clearing, but I think they just got in over their head and they had such bad luck with their machinery. I would just say, make sure you get everything in writing and through and communicate, communicate through text messaging because that's your proof. Um, doing this project, I found that so many people will forget what they said. I'm just gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. This red part right here is where the water runs through the land. It runs all the way up. It actually turns into kind of a waterfall in this area, a small little rapid, and goes down into a gully back there. But anyway, uh, another talk for another time. Hope you have a great day, and I hope you enjoy this video.